Hey, Lisa, I heard something about you. If you don't mind me bringing uh, uh, yes, some I up. Yes, I do, but go ahead. All right. I heard about Lisa G. This is interesting. Oh, what? here we go. Do you know what it is? No, but it's coming from you, so okay, go ahead. Okay. Why do you assume it's bad? Because she so, knows this group. <laughs> so Lisa good. went to the company and tried to get them to pay for her cat sitter. What? Yes. I never heard of such fucking craziness. What uh, are you talking about? For my the, cat for the needs medicine the... twice a day. Yeah. And I need to pay someone. <laughs> to do it. Right. And if not, my cat would die. Right. And if I didn't go on the trip, I right. wouldn't have to incur the expense. Right. You went on a business trip covering something for Howard 100, 100 right. News. Mm -hmm. So where do you ever go on a job where they say to you, like, they never, like, I Even never. Even if you needed child care, they wouldn't cover that. Right. Video. Even a child, they wouldn't cover. Oh, really? I don't know. I don't have a kid, so I never put in for a child. Why? Wow, so who did you go to to ask for it? I just put it in. I had where? expenses. Oh, you made that one of your expenses? Uh, yes. Wow. <laughs> That's balls. Were they rejected? Why? I don't, yeah. Yes, it was rejected. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Mel reads every uh, single request. I don't think I have balls. His head blew off. What yeah. are balls? It's part of my expenses that I wouldn't have had if I didn't go away to cover a story for mm. you. My cat would die. So maybe you shouldn't have gone. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Can I tell you something? <laughs> yeah. If I had known that I wouldn't be uh, reimbursed, <laughs> you wouldn't. Have. I I would have been upset. Mm. Yeah. It's an expense. You shouldn't have gone. No. Hey, look. For fifty bucks, I'll pay it. Right. But I just thought it was an expense, like I said, that I wouldn't have had. And probably yeah. any pet person listening. Like, I sometimes go on a business trip, and then, like, I buy a new bag for the business trip to carry my stuff, but... It's not you the same. My cat would die. <laughs> Believe yeah. me, I wish I had a cat. I could just leave some food, see right. you later, but that's not the situation. He's on phenobarbital Get twice a, better a day. Get a cat. <laughs> I adopted the cat. What did I know I was getting into? The, right. My, the joke that I say is, you know, um, I adopted the cat, $35, you know, $3,000 later <laughs> for right. medical expenses, but I... First I love all, Lucky. First of all, great joke. Lucky Second ain't so lucky. I got, a, I, I got a question. Say you substitute the word kid, not about dying, but you substitute the word kid. So if you go on a business trip and you need to have somebody watch your kids, do you bill that to the company? No. Never. Well, I don't know. I don't have children. No. They, people no. Like, like the company didn't tell you to have children. They can't, they can't take care of all your expenses, you know? You know who you should have given your cat to? Siobhan. Isn't he a cat sitter? <laughs> right. That, that's right. Cat yeah. sitter Siobhan. I'll take her cat, and I'll take care of Look, her cat. I'll pay, I'll, pay cat. Cat. I'll pay the 50 bucks. I, yeah. I put it I in. Know, I just said, I said, I don't blame you for trying, but that's a ball's move. They're not going to Really? Pay. I didn't even think of it that yeah. way. Well, you I could also say, what, what else did you put in for? You could also say you had to, like, you know. Buy new underwear. Right. No. <laughs> Come on, that's being ridic ridiculous. I don't know. I think they're both equally ridiculous. <laughs> really? Yeah. No. Why not charge him for your laptop computer? Because you used it when you were on the uh, vacation. I mean, no, that excuse would be, me, the business trip. No, that would be... I put in for batteries. Right. I did. You did? For yes, batteries? Yes, I needed batteries for my machine. Uh -huh. Of course mm. I did. Well, at least that's work-related. I, you're not here, no one's hearing what I'm saying. I wouldn't have had this expense well, if I course. didn't have to go out would, of town. There's a lot of expense, but it's part of your job to go out of town, or if it's not, then don't go. Well, I went, and like mm. I said, I will pay the 50 bucks. Did you put no, it for I the, know. did you put it for the apple you ate? <laughs> no. Wow. <laughs> she, she what? Did. did you think it was odd? Yeah, but I got, I'm going to tell you something that is shocking to me. I thought it was the oddest request and everything. Uh, Doug Goodstein was telling me that in demand, apparently would have paid for this request that they do have something for people's to watch people's pets when you go on a business trip really? i think it's insane really? well there you go you go work for howard tv that sounds good yeah you're on the wrong side of this. <laughs> <laughs> all right so am i still right, whacked out or no 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 i just i don't know the way it was positioned to me it sounded kind of wacky but yeah, the way it does, i can understand the way you're saying it doesn't sound that crazy thank you lisa anything else oh yeah i've got a really good story go ahead a tense moment in the hallways of the Stern compound yesterday as a furious Benjamin Bronk got in Ronnie the limo driver's Ooh. face and had some harsh words for him. Really? Eyewitnesses, including myself, agree that this did not seem like Benji's normal shtick. Seriously, stop being such a fucking dick, man. He stands there. Stop being stands. such a fucking dick, man. Why, why you always have to be a dick? You know, I always have to try to like, just be, say dicky shit. You know what? I'm a nice person. I treat you nice. Just stop being fucking saying crap to me, man. I'm okay. serious. Okay. All right? 
I'm scared. I'm, I'm not trying to fucking scare you. I'm just saying stop saying fucking crap to me. Stop just doing your fucking snide, continuous fucking snide comments. Oh, really? Yeah, dude. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Benji was mad at comments Ronnie made claiming Benji acts strange whenever female guests are in the green room, <laughs> often staring at them awkwardly. Benji said he was sick of Ronnie's constant picking on him. Was that true, Benji? Did you really get in a fight with Ronnie? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I feel like often he just says things just to, uh, you know, try to instigate stuff. Did right. you say that on air? I feel like he doesn't treat me with respect. And, uh, and I, I feel like with respect. I can assure you he doesn't treat you with respect. <laughs> <laughs> See, he's fighting with everybody these days. What's, What's going on with this? Respect? He doesn't treat Howard with respect. He treat anybody, treat anybody with respect. Who? You. You. What are you talking? What is it? Benji says he doesn't feel you treat him with respect. <laughs> well, listen. All Put right. the microphone down by your mouth. <laughs> Just your headphone. There you go. All right. Go ahead. Benji. Look at that microphone. I know. It's in his nose. What you, I, th no, it's not your fault. It, it, it drives me crazy around here with his headphone. Podium? Yeah, please. Go ahead. This way I can look at Benji better anyway. Now, Benji, the only time I make comments to you, right or wrong, is when you are doing weird shit. <laughs> are, you, are you asking? Yeah, I'm asking you, yeah. No, I, I feel you often. In fact, you didn't even say it to me. I was standing right there, and I was talking to Richie, and you start, you're talking about me, like, right in front of them. No, in, no, in, no, in no, 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 I said, no. I said, I said to you, I said. No, you, you didn't. Okay. I but, but it's okay. Go ahead. All right. The last time we had this discussion was about running in the hallway. I heard he slammed into Lisa G yesterday. Is that true, Lisa? Today. He knocked, Today. He I didn't, wait, you wait, down. He didn't, well, he didn't do it on purpose. He just was walking out. He really wasn't seeing where he was going, and it knocked my machine out, so I lost my interview. But I was standing there yesterday when these two were going at it. So you, so he knocked into you when he was wait. charging around the hallways? I, he, like, bumped into me, and it— uh, When? When? Just now. Right, just now, Howard. It was yeah, but during our last saying. break. I walked out this door and I tripped. Why don't you look at the so klutzy? But I, I wasn't even talking about that. We weren't. Go ahead. What are you talking okay. about? Okay. So yesterday, the girl, that girl was here. Uh, the girl who yeah, had whatever. Sex mini me. Frank right. Sarpico. So he, he <laughs> yeah, that was funny. When you said that, I was pissing. Um, so Benji comes out and he does this a lot, and I'm not the only one who notices it. So nobody else step up, but that's okay. I'll take the heat for it. I don't give a shit. You stare at people. I, I don't run. And, and then you say, and you ask other people, like, you go like this. You go, <laughs> haven't I seen her somewhere before? Hasn't she been here before? <laughs> the, don't, don't I know her from somewhere? And, okay, and, I, and you stare at them. I didn't. I didn't run. I walked no, you by. Do. You I don't even realize it, I don't think. Can, can I, Why can, is he staring at these people? I don't Howard, know. I'm what, not, who needs him is, out there? I, Howard, I walked out. Yeah. And if Ronnie you knows what he's talking about. No, he doesn't. Yes, I do. You're asleep half the time. No, I'm not asleep half the time. Okay, okay? A quarter of the time. Let's stop the bullshit. Let's get be honest. How be often are you Let's be honest. Okay, this is the you, honest thing. You want to be honest? Let's be honest. This is the honest thing. Go ahead. This is the honest. Yeah, okay. All right, I'm about to be honest. <laughs> I walked out. Everything shtick, man. Howard, I'm not... Anything... Everything I do, you guys think I'm doing for some reason. I walked no, out. No, he does. He just thinks you're odd, and he thinks you're making guests uncomfortable. Right. And, and we need the guests to be comfortable. Okay. Let's call her right now and ask her. <laughs> She's a little flaky. But I walked. I walked by her, and I. Ronnie's thought, saying it happens all the time. Sometimes, yeah, I see the guests in the green room sometimes, and oft times, because I might know something or realize something, I tell you, and it's something good. You use it for the show. When I asked Richie, I saw her for a second. I thought, and if you look at the internet, you'll see why I thought this. There was a girl about eight years ago that Seinfeld was accused of having an affair with. And that she looks very similar to her. That's who I thought she was. Right. Ends right. up it wasn't her. I just was I, that's right. why I thought. But why do you have to stand there and stare at her like that? I didn't I wasn't staring. Yes, Ronnie. you were. Show the you camera. don't realize it. <laughs> Fred, what's with you? Ask, you yeah, ask, like, ask Chris. This is two days in a row. Chris was out there. He knows oh, what geez. I'm he knows what I'm oh. talking about. I'm Ronnie, All right, I'm I, bored. Okay, <laughs> thank okay, you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Hey Lisa. Did you try to expense a can of Coke when you were out in L.A.? <laughs> no. No? That's what it says. Stop it. Somebody yes, said that. I'll did. pay the 50 bucks. I'm taking no, it know. off. I know, but. I'll use Artie's $100 that he gave me towards my cash. Someone okay? in the newsroom told us that you tried oh, to expense it. a can of Coke. No. When you were out in L.A. A can of, oh, um, I probably wanted to know, like I, 
I eat all day long. Yes. So I don't specifically just eat lunch and dinners, and I snack all day. So I wanted to know what do I put in for snacks. I, I got up a uh, a power bar and a Diet Coke and something else. Oh, so. how annoying. Oh, my God. What? Why is that annoying? Well, because like, when you're here and you get a Coke, you don't expense it. But it was a few, I don't know. Yeah. I, I haven't traveled recently, so I'm not used to putting no. in expenses. Okay. So. You're one of these annoying broads with every little thing I could tell. Mm. Yeah. Well, you know. Know. Wait, 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 wait. What does that mean? It means that you're an annoying broad. <laughs> what does that Ew. mean, every little thing? It means I could tell, like, if you're one of these people that balances their checkbook and all that shit down to the cent, right? Uh, I, I, being married to you would be a nightmare. <laughs> all right. Thank all you, right. Lisa. All right. Thank you, Lisa. <laughs> Lisa likes that. <laughs> Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> she walked out confused. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most unprofessional room on the planet.